Welcome to part three of our video series where we are upgrading a brush to a brushless motor in a one tenth or one twelfth scale RC vehicle. Please be sure to check out the other videos. Part one is where I show you the overview of the system we are using. Part two is installation and setup. Okay, we're going to do a little test here. We're going to have a little race between a stampede with the stock motor, which is the black one, and a stampede with the new brushless motor, which is the blue one. And we're going to see which one seems to be faster. Okay? Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Okay, the brush just won that time, but it didn't win by much. It was, uh, and I should note, note that we just replaced the stock motor in the blue and the black stampede, the stock brushed motor, so it should be a pretty even test. Okay, on your mark, get set, go! go. Oh, yeah! Let's switch drive. Let's switch drivers here, too. Go! On your mark, get set, get go. go. Keep it straight. <laughs> that thing is good. You got a lot more power, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Watch out! The blue one. The blue one Looks like the brush just won again, even with a different driver. So here are my thoughts on the Hobby King X Car brushless power system. The fan is a little noisy, but who cares? The brushless motor was louder than the fan. When you're racing, you won't care about the sound. Performance was good, but not as good as I had hoped. Definitely better than the stock brushless motor though. I'm sure using a 3 cell LiPo would make a big difference. If you want more speed, I'd suggest going higher than the 3000 kV version that I had. You can go up to 9200 kV, but just make sure that your vehicle can handle the extra speed. I'll put a link to the 2 cell 6 amp hour LiPo that I've been using. I really like it a lot. Uh, it's lasting around 20 minutes. 6 amp hour is about the largest 2 cell LiPo that you can fit in a Traxxas 1 tenth scale vehicle without any modifications. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching part 3 of the Brushless Motor video series. If you haven't done so already, check out parts 1 and 2. In part 1, I show you the overview and the unboxing of the brushless system that we're using. In part 2, I show you the installation and setup.